Hi, my name is Mark Ginnert. I'm the National Youth Programs Coordinator for the Bass Federation. In the next half hour or so, we'd like to show your class some of the great opportunities that are being created both educationally and professionally through professional fishing. We'd also like to show you how some of those basic elements of your education are used every day by championship anglers out on the water. Items like math, science, and language arts are key learning tools that you'll use every day, just like the professional anglers do out on the water. So let's sit back and take a high-speed look at today's world of professional fishing. wonder just how big of a business recreational fishing is in the United States today? Through the manufacture, sale, and distribution of a wide variety of products, including boats, motors, trailers, fishing rods, reels, tackle, and even the local guy selling bait on your corner store, fishing in this country today is a $60 billion a year business. There are literally thousands of people making their living through the business of recreational fishing. This sport utilizes professions like sales, marketing, engineering, marine biology, and a variety of different professions, including video production specialists, and last but not least, professional anglers, and the numbers are growing every day. As you can see by the size of these tournaments, pro fishing is a really big deal and rapidly becoming a very large employment center in this country. On the tournament side, the FLW Outdoors, the largest promoter of tournament fishing, will pay out over $45 million in tournament prizes through 243 organized tournaments across the country. They will host 22 events this year that will pay the winners over $100,000 for winning these tournaments. There are also multiple educational opportunities being created through fishing today. The Bass Federation and their junior clubs sponsor tournaments that junior anglers across the country can fish in and win scholarship money, including the National Guard Junior World Championship. Every year, the nation's best young anglers from all over the country meet in a championship environment, competing for over $30,000 in scholarships and youth program grants. The inaugural event, the National Guard Junior World Championship. We're going to decide who the best young anglers in America are right here today. Today's event is the culmination of all the uh, individual regions from the TBF to come together with their youth champions from the age of 12 to 18. We have two different divisions, 12 to 14, and then 15 to 18. And they, this, is the, this is the best of the best coming here today to compete for the grand champion to see who's going to be the best in both age categories. I think you'd have to agree that those are some pretty exciting opportunities. But you might ask yourself, geez, how do I get started in a career in fishing in the great outdoors? Well, the answer lies right in front of you each and every day when you go to school. Those basic elements of your education are like tools of the trade. And we all need to start to collect those tools and tuck them away in a toolbox like the one I have here. You won't believe how many times in the course of your life you're going to reach back into that toolbox and pull out some of those key elements of your education. Specific items like math, science, and language arts are used by professional anglers out on the water every day. So let's take just a moment and break down some of those key items and see how they're used out on the water by professional anglers. Okay. Science is perhaps one of the most important elements of your education that you'll ever use in fishing. Knowing and understanding the physical aspects of water, habitat, and outside influences like weather and man are crucial keys that anglers must study to catch fish on a consistent basis. If we look at the science of water itself, we find that things like clarity, temperature, pH, and even the movement of water all affect how and where fish live. Water clarity is important, as most fish do not have eyelids, so the amount of sunlight that is able to penetrate the water affects not only their vision, but also their comfort level and where they reside on a daily basis. Fish do not have the ability to adjust their eyes to changing sunlight like humans do. So bright sunlight shining through very clear water will tend to drive fish towards shady areas like a big tree or a boat dock. The temperature of water tends to act like a triggering device for fish. As the water warms up in the spring or cools down in the fall, it is a signal for fish to move, feed, spawn, and react in a variety of different ways. The pH of water is basically a measurement of whether the water is acidic or basic. Either one of these conditions make the water uncomfortable and even dangerous for fish. In simpler terms, it has a similar effect as you getting soap in your eyes 
when you're in the shower. Fish don't like those conditions just like you don't. Things like weeds and trees dying in the water tend to turn the water acidic and often lead to fish migrating away from these areas. Chemical runoff from agricultural areas or industrial facilities can even have more dramatic effect on the living habits of fish. The mere movement of water itself also has a great effect on the feeding habits of fish. Moving water or currents often carry nutrients and microorganisms which tend to attract the very smallest of fish. The cycle of life then kicks in as fish from every size move in to feed on those that are a little smaller than they are. Just like in the jungle, it becomes a battle in survival of the fittest. Weather, coastal tides, and the phases of the moon also have effects on the movements and feeding habits of fish. It is a proven fact that approaching weather fronts in certain phases of the moon will trigger different reactions in fish. Under certain conditions, there are times when fish will eat almost anything. Science also plays an important role in the conservation of our environment. Man's ability to study the natural and human effects imposed on our waterways better enables us to assist Mother Nature in the management of our resources. Being able to analyze elements like clarity, temperature, pH, and weather help us determine what is in the best interest of all species that occupy our lakes and rivers. Needless to say, science plays a huge role in the life of a fisherman. Mathematics and electronics are also becoming crucial tools of anglers today. Fishermen need to know the effects of different weights and speeds and how they relate to putting the lure at the exact depth necessary to catch fish. There are literally thousands of lures that are constructed of all different weights and sizes. The same holds true of fishing lines, and each of these have a different effect on how the lure travels through the water. The temperature of the water also affects how fast a lure will sink, as does the diameter of the fishing line that you're using. Even down to knowing, understanding, and being able to calculate exactly how much your fish actually weigh is an important element in the life of a professional angler. Probably the most overlooked tool in your educational toolbox is language arts. In sponsor-driven sports like professional fishing, golf, and NASCAR, your ability to accurately and intelligently portray your sponsor's product is the key to success and survival in a very competitive business. As it is in almost any profession, your ability to communicate with your fellow competitors, employees, and customers is absolutely crucial in your ability to be successful in life. Putting all these elements of your education together and then applying them in real life as well as in fishing eventually creates a great environment for success. One of the terrific aspects of the sport of fishing is that anyone with a desire to learn, the dedication to put forth the effort, and the patience to stay with it can learn to catch fish and be successful. As I mentioned earlier, whether it be a professional angler or a professional race car driver, their ability to highlight their sponsor's product is just as important as their ability to fish or drive a race car. This beautiful Ranger Bass boat or these high-tech solar bat sunglasses are just two examples of sponsor's product that you must be able to highlight in an interview situation to be successful in this business. And you do that by tucking away some of those language arts skills that you learn in school and putting them away in your toolbox. Now let's take a look at how some of those pro anglers reach into their toolbox and pull out some of those exact same skills that they use out in the water every day. FLW Touring Pros are challenged by different bodies of water each week. Reading the water quickly, locating good fish, and then getting them to bite are keys to success. But you can't catch them till you find them. And one of the crucial stepping stones in this process is understanding the seasonal movements of bass, spawning, available forage, and environmental factors like cover and water temperature determine fish location on a grand scale. By comparison, weather, water conditions, and even fishing pressure all affect fish location and activity levels on a more localized basis, like individual brush strokes composing the big picture. Once the pros find general areas of bass activity, they interpret fish depth, mood, and use of cover to choose the most efficient presentations to catch them. This adaptation requires versatility, the ability to present different lures in different conditions. Whether bass are located in weeds, 
wood, timber, rocks, or across clean bottoms, pros must pick the right lures for the job. Lures are tools, and there are so many lures and so little time to fine tune their choices. Anglers observe bass behavior, form theories, and then test them, refine them, or throw them out the window. And even then, during the heat of battle, pros must adapt to subtle changes in the fish's mood in order to remain effective. Intangibles, like intuition and confidence, guide their evolving strategies and ultimately determine how many checks they cash. So what does it take to catch fish like an FLW Pro? The magic equation reads something like knowledge, plus experience, plus versatility, plus adaptability, plus of course, a little luck equals big bass and big money. As you can see, the business of fishing is becoming a very, very big business in this country. In fact, industry analysts tell us today that recreational tournament professional fishing is second only to NASCAR in terms of spectator and corporate sponsor appeal. Let's take a look at some of the other professional opportunities that are created through recreational fishing. I think you can see that this is just a small sample of some of the job opportunities being created today through fishing. Across this country today, there are over one million people making their living through the business of fishing. Needless to say, the employment opportunities are tremendous and continually growing. One of the other exciting things happening through fishing is the formation of school fishing clubs. In these clubs, you'll learn everything from the basics of fishing to the preservation of environmental resources. Getting a club started in your school is the first step in creating a wealth of opportunities that exist in the sport of fishing. Just think about how great it would be to have a field trip to a local lake or river to fish and learn about the great outdoors. If you would like more information on forming a school club, you can contact me at this email address and we'll help you get started forming your own school club. If you want to be a little more competitive, we can also direct you to one of our existing TBF junior clubs or how your school club can enter TBF tournaments across the country. Boating, fishing, and enjoying the great outdoors is a great way to spend some quality time with your friends and family. We hope that you'll consider forming a fishing club within your school. And more importantly, we hope that you'll remember to store away some of those key elements of your education in your toolbox so that you can pull them out later in life to help you be successful in any profession or hobby that you may choose. On behalf of the Bass Federation and its 30,000 members nationwide, we want to thank you for the opportunity here today, and we look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors.